Zika virus is mostly spread through mosquito bites. So if an infected mosquito bites an individual, they can become infected with Zika virus. Zika virus has also been found to be transmitted from a man to a woman through sexual activity. Zika virus can also be spread from a mother to her fetus while she's pregnant. So there are certainly ways in which you can protect yourself from Zika virus. First and foremost, use an EPA certified insect repellent. Stay inside where it's air conditioned or use screens in windows or doors. Wear long sleeves, wear long pants. You can also use clothing or equipment that is treated with permethrin, which is an insect repellent. And if you are sleeping outside, especially in an area where there's local transmission, sleep under mosquito netting. Do not apply insect repellent on children who are less than two months of age. And for children, do not apply it to their hands, to their mouth, to their eyes. Put it on your own hands and apply it to children. Also, make sure that they're wearing long pants, long sleeves, and a hat, and protected with mosquito netting or other protections while outside. The species that primarily carries Zika, Aedes aegypti, is largely a species of the southeastern United States, found only as far north as South Carolina. A common backyard mosquito species that we do have here, known as the Asian tiger mosquito, or Aedes albopictus, has been shown to be able to carry the Zika virus in its home territory of Africa. And there is concern for that species possibly being able to vector the disease here, which we will be very closely monitoring. The main thing to be done to reduce the number of mosquitoes in the backyard is for people to practice good water sanitation on their properties. That means reducing all kind of habitats from filled rain buckets to tarps to boats to unused swimming pools to clogged rain gutters to corrugated downspouts. Anything in a backyard that can hold water can breed the species of concern, the Asian tiger mosquito, and it's also actually good practice for control of other mosquito-borne diseases for those mosquitoes that breed in those same exact backyard habitats. If you can eliminate the containers to begin with, that is abs absolutely the best option. If not, and they need to be there for whatever reason, they need to be dumped regularly and kept from con accumulating any water. We monitor the populations of mosquitoes that can carry Zika in Delaware several ways. Number one, primarily by mechanical traps, where we actually collect mosquito populations throughout the state uh, several times a week and have those samples counted and speciated so we know what kind of mosquito populations we have in any given area. We also do it when the public calls in and complains about mosquitoes. That can give us a piece of information that tells us what the mosquito populations are in a particular area. And then thirdly, when staff goes out to those areas to inspect those mosquito populations, they can do what we call landing count in which we see how many mosquitoes and what species are landing on an inspector trying to bite them in the course of that visit. The main thing people will see being done in Delaware is a lot of application of EPA registered pesticides. This could be done in a large scale manner by aircraft being airplane or helicopter over very large areas or on a smaller scale by coming through neighborhoods and rural areas or even cities and towns with a truck that puts out a spray of insecticide to reduce the number of adult mosquitoes. We may also even go into individual backyard habitats and apply pesticides to the water source where the mosquitoes are coming from. But the Asian tiger mosquito is a difficult mosquito to control by traditional insecticide spraying. It can breed in the smallest of habitats. We're talking a bottle cap full of water after a brief summer rain shower is enough to activate the eggs that the mosquito laid in that bottle cap and can produce from a, such a small source. If you multiply that by all the small sources that are in any given backyard at any time, you can see the propensity for the problem of Asian tiger mosquito breeding in anybody's backyard. Residents can contact Mosquito Control with any mosquito complaints they have by calling either our Milford office for all areas below Dover at 422-1512 or any place north of Dover 
at our Glasgow office at 836-2555. They can also go on our mosquito control website at Delaware Mosquito Control for a wealth of information.